Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. I'm very, very excited to introduce the new Riesen Muller Tinker 2. Now, the Tinker 2 has always been that sort of city urban style bike, small form factor, folding handlebars, but it's such a capable bike, and I'm about to tell you why. So starting off at the front here, we have the Bosch Smart System display options. Again, fantastic swappability here. You can just ride with the LED controller on the left-hand side. This one has been set up with the Kiox 300. You can also option the Intuvia 100 display. On this bike as well, you have the optional smartphone grip where you remove the attached display here, put on the smartphone grip, connect your phone to the bike. You've got maps, all the data from the bike, and wireless charging as well. And we're also set up with the NBLO gear hub as well. Super popular for slight little twist shifts and integrated into a rear gear hub at the back of the bike, paired with belt drive. Very, very nice. Other things on the front of the bike, we've got Tektro hydraulic brakes. Very, very good for pulling you up to a stop. And the main feature I want to talk about this bike is the adjustable stem. This is great for making it a one size fits all bike. You can tilt it forward, back, up and down to suit your riding position, style and even what terrain you're on. Moving down to the bottom of the front here, we've got integrated lights also at the rear and a nice little suspension fork. 20 inch tires, like I mentioned before, keeps it that compact form factor, but still rides like a full size bike. It's awesome. Now for the first time, I'm very excited to say that we've got the Bosch Power Pack 545 watt hour battery here. This should get you very, very good range. And the Performance Line motor, the brand new Performance Line motor. It has 75 Newton meters of torque, yet it is dead silent. I went for a ride on it the other day and it was stunning. It's such a comfortable bike. It's so powerful and paired with their new Bosch Auto Power mode, it is the bike that it was always meant to be. Moving back to the rear of the bike here, I like the new Cell Royale saddle. All the comfort that you used to get, but with this Biotex foam material, feels really, really good. And then moving down to the G2 Schultz optional seat post suspension. I think I like this one a little bit better. The way the spring works, just nice for that urban riding. The other feature to make this a one size fits all bike is this quick release lever and the long seat post, adjustable for a wide array of heights. We have customers anywhere from 5'8 to 6'1 on these bikes that fit very, very comfortably. At the back of the bike here, you see we've got a single kick stand and again, you've got the optional rack time rack, which clicks in very, very nicely. It's 18 liters of capacity total. And the rear carrier rack here, even if you've not got the optional cargo rack on the back, should take about 20 kilo. In terms of security, this bike comes with the Abus rear wheel lock down here. Now that is my favorite option for everyday style riding when paired with an Abus chain lock. You have the rear wheel lock, which makes sure that no one could ride away, but also the Abus chain lock, which attaches it to something big and heavy, nice and secure. So the Tinker 2 comes in one frame size, but two frame colors, and you get the white as you see in front of us, or you can get the all black as well. And then finally, you can see at the back wheel here, we've got the NBL gear hub. So it's all internalized away from, you know, any dirt, mud, part of the environment. So less maintenance from your perspective as well. So all around a very, very good bike, whether you're in city, urban, off-road, all terrain, you name it, this bike is capable of it. So thanks once again for joining us for the new Tinker 2. If you've got any inquiries, give us a call, jump online, and we'll get you test riding.